the biggest single obstacle standing in your way to success is not lack of education, it's not lack of background, it's not lack of money, it's lack of belief in yourself. Once you believe you are something, you actually embody it. You embody that feeling. If you were, God forbid, in a coma, and you woke up, and you didn't really have a memory, and you were told that you used to be a Navy SEAL, and they want you back now when you're healthy, do you think you'd act differently and hold yourself differently, conduct yourself different, and have a different self-concept of who you are than if you were told you were a piano instructor? Being successful in life is all about having the proper belief system in who you are. Truly believing that you are something unique, that you are something special in that field. If you truly believe inside of you that you are one of the best actors in the world, you will be entirely different than if you're like, I hope I'm good. Your expressions will be totally different, your tone of voice. You'll talk in a more convincing fashion. You'll use your natural voice instead of a scripted one. You'll be more emphatic. You'll be more real, more relatable. Our brain is like a circuit. And so if we introduce it with the proper wiring, you're gonna go straight to your target. If you're unsure about who you are, then your dreams, your goals, they will never become a reality. Everyone has mental doubts in life, internal conflicts even the most successful people that you look up to, but they don't live there. It's how you handle those negative thoughts in that exact moment and overwhelm them with positive action. And that comes with this utmost confidence in yourself that you can handle the situation. Trust in yourself that you are better than the moment. The great think differently. The, the greats see differently, right? The, the greats have a different worldview. The greats, they, they approach the game in a totally different way. So I need you to do me a huge favor. I need you to think about what you're thinking about when your effort is low. Because if you can get this, if you can get this, you can get any success you want in life. You can have anything you want in life if you can get this. The next time you give a low effort, right? You give it 70% or 50% or 30%. I want you to think about what you're thinking about when your effort is low. If, if, if your effort is low, you're probably not thinking about the opportunity. You're probably thinking about the obligation. And when you think about E.T., how you stay pumped up? E.T. is how you stay on fire. E.T., how you always driven? Even in the midst of trials and tribulations, even in the midst of your haters, when people try to break you and tear you down. E.T., how you stay strong? I keep thinking about the opportunity. Every single day, I'm thinking about the opportunity, and I'm not looking at this thing as an obligation. I'm not looking at this thing as something that I have to do, or that I'm forced to do, right? Something that somebody's making me do. Every time I wake up, I'm thinking, I'm alive, baby, this is the day. This is an opportunity. If you want what you've never had before, if you want to do what you've never done before, if you want to be what you've never been before, change your mentality. And I want you to see that effort goes up when you look, when you look at it as, I got an opportunity of a lifetime. But you should be excited about the fact that you have an opportunity.